We've got here the Ambiano Breakfast Maker from the Aldi Online Store. Now this came delivered with just the sticker on top. So the box has got a little bit beaten up. Now, this is a gadget we didn't think we'd ever see. A toaster and an egg maker combined. Seems like they're fixing another problem that we don't have. But we thought we'd get one and try it out to see how good it is. Apparently it makes omelettes, poached eggs, boiled eggs, toast, and the hot plate, I believe, you can put bacon on. So just like a toaster, it's got the crumb tray, the cord storage at the bottom, and it comes with the egg steamer compartment, egg steamer bowl, and boiled egg tray. This is what the machine's going to look like. So the toaster part looks like an ordinary conventional toaster. It's got the bagel, defrost, reheat and cancel functions. Seven settings, depending on how dark you like it. And then next to that, you've got the little egg cooker. So it looks like you can make an entire breakfast on one unit. Let's get this out of the box and see what we're looking at. So as always, this comes with a three year warranty. We've got the user manual, which has the basic care guide, cleaning instructions and tells you all the parts. It does go into detail about how to use the functions on the toaster and how to cook your eggs. There's several parts with this machine. The machine itself does actually look really smart. We've got the toaster, which can operate without using any of the other functions. It's a two slice toaster. You can do bagels in there. And it is like the average toaster with the bagel defrost, reheat and cancel buttons. And then you've got the dial to how dark you want your toast cooking. These buttons do feel quite tactile, but the spring loader and the main on off for the hot plate feel very plasticky and cheap. You do have the tray for emptying the crumbs on the back of the toaster. Then we've got the hot plate over here, which I believe you can work independently from the toaster. And that's what this on off switch is for. And there's two heat settings on there. You've got your egg tray for doing boiled eggs and you can fit up to 10 on there. That just sits on top of the heat plate and that's, you'd put the water inside there to cook your eggs. And we've got the lid that sits just on top when you're cooking eggs. We've got four little compartments here, two smaller compartments in those trays and two slightly bigger ones and they're for cooking steaming eggs and if you're using these trays they don't sit on the hot plate that's still where you put your water and you can actually set these trays onto the shelf there and then again once you're cooking you're going to cover it up so this is the jug that comes with the machine for measuring the amount of water that you need to cook the eggs and all it actually says in the booklet is to fill it up to the correct level, pour it into the bottom and then set your eggs on top ready to cook and of course we're not going above the maximum fill line which we've just got in the back of there.
So that's the MBNO breakfast maker. We have managed to cook a full breakfast sandwich in it with toast, bacon and egg. The only way to do a full breakfast all at once and without anything going cold is to use this hot plate to fry eggs and bacon. So we didn't bother using the steamer at all. Otherwise, you can't cook bacon at the same time as cooking or steaming eggs or making boiled eggs. I think it's really neat. It's certainly very easy to use and it's cleaned up really well. I'm not sure it's great in a full house where you've got access to a toaster and a pan and I can't see us using this again. But I think if you're living in a smaller apartment or maybe camping or caravanning, this could come in really handy. So this machine works in the same way as the Ambiano egg cooker to make the boiled, poached or steamed eggs. So we'll pop a link up there on the screen that will take you directly to that video if you want to see how that works. The only thing that did concern us was it did trip the electric a couple of times, which we've never had with the, the LD appliances before. But it did come straight back on and worked in the end. So hopefully that review has been helpful to someone. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.